Due to the heat here in Jeddah, I did something that initially felt scandalous. Uh, I'm wearing shorts. I was reassured that it's okay for men to wear shorts in public. I'm on my way to a museum now, but my ultimate goal for the day is to eat kunefe. And here it is, the Nasif House Museum. Let's go inside. This was the house of a wealthy family that made its fortunes with trading. I'm generally not that interested in museums, but I read that there are nice views of Al Balad from the rooftop of this building. Someone told me this is the museum and it should be open, but it's not, so maybe I'll come back later. I later found out that the museum only opens if a bigger group announces that they will come ahead of time. I'm here on the Souk Al Alawi and it's just these old streets with little shops everywhere selling clothing, medicine, food, anything. And I really like it. Look, look at this beautiful street. And this is one of the biggest souks of Saudi Arabia. I could spend hours just walking around these small streets, looking at the beautiful old houses, and browsing what the countless vendors are selling. I'm not sure what this is for. This one? Or... Cleaning your teeth. Uh, clean. Okay. I don't want to be rude, but the taste is not good. <laughs> this is in fact the oldest souk of Jeddah. I always enjoy hanging around at souks. Besides this one, I really enjoyed the souk in Erbil, the Alhamidiya souk in Damascus, and of course the Grand Bazaar of Tehran. What are your favorite souks in the Middle East? I'm curious to find out, so please comment below. Now that I'm wearing shorts, I feel like a true tourist. Especially the way that I'm walking on the street with shorts, holding my gimbal. As always, I was never alone for long in Saudi Arabia. Amin Aina Anta. Abdul Amin. Abdul Amin. Uh, in Jeddah? Jeddah, Jeddah. Jeddah? I am born in Pakistan. Eh, uh, Pakistan. Oh, where? No. Uh, Lahore, Salah. Karachi. Karachi. You're from Karachi? Karachi. Karachi? Oh, okay, my Islam friends. Islamabad. Ah, he's from Islamabad. Karachi. And Karachi, Karachi. Ah, oh, Alhamdulillah. In Tala, Ferin, Ferin. yes. Sadiq. Sadiq. Who is that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Shukran. Before, when I was wearing long trousers, I blended in perfectly like a local. But now that I'm wearing my shorts, it is quite apparent that I'm a tourist. And <laughs> so many people come talk to me. Do you see what I see? Do you have yeah. Yes! Yeah. Alhamdulillah! Yeah. One, one kunefe. I fell in love with kunefe at this shop in Riyadh. And until today, no kunefe has come close. I must return to Riyadh. And I'm going to eat my second kunefe. It's so good. Okay, I've seen most of Al Balad. What to do next? Sometimes when I'm traveling, I just get on a random bus and see where it takes me. And I'm about to do that here now in Jeddah. And by chance, I will just pick this one, number seven. I started doing this when I was younger. Just go on a random bus and see where it takes me. Of course, I only do this in a place where safety is not a concern. You never know where you will end up. 
I paid 10 SAR for a bus card, which came with 5 SAR credit. I exited the bus here uh, because it seemed like it was turning around, so it seems like this is the farthest point. There was nothing much there except for a supermarket and some fast food chains. So I called an Uber and I'm going to King Fahad Mountain, not mountain, fountain, which supposedly is the biggest fountain in the world. So this is where the fountain is supposed to be. But fountain is not turned on. Very strange. I then found out that the fountain will only turn on at 5. So I decided to eat. I went into this lovely restaurant. What would you pick from this menu? I paid 5 SAR for moussaka and this gigantic bread which took up half of the table. Still two hours to go. Well, let me check out the Chinese shopping mall. Uh, it's deserted, nothing to do here. But I like the vibe here on Palestine Road. And there's even a Fuddruckers. And here is the Hassan Anani Mosque. And an Emirates 777 cruising at 37,000 feet from Addis Ababa to Dubai. We are on the Al Corniche Road. And next to this beautiful water. And it reminds me a bit of the Corniche in Khobar. And in the next 30 to 40 minutes, this fountain Kabira should be turning on. What a beautiful scene during this time of the day. More and more people started gathering here and by the time it was dark, the park was packed. I was treated to tea and snacks by these gentlemen from Taif. There was no fountain, which is disappointing. But this Saudi lady gave me a flower, shukran, very touching. And I met an American from San Francisco with Yemeni roots. Uh, also very nice talking to him. Alright, that's it for my second day in this beautiful city of Jeddah. Stay tuned for more. Ma'a salama.